In the previous lecture, we discussed the idea that an electric current found inside a wire will feel a force as a result of a magnetic field in which the wire is found in. Now we're going to apply that concept into the following example. So let's suppose a 100 centimeter wire is bent at the middle at a 90 degree angle as shown in the following diagram. So one second of the wire lies along the x-axis as shown and the other section lies along the y-axis and the angle between these two sections is 90 degrees. Now the wire passes through a uniform magnetic field given by two Teslas that points in the positive direction along the x-axis as shown by the following green magnetic field lines. Now, assuming that our electric current is given by 10 amps and points in the following general direction, in part A, determine the magnitude of force that the wire feels as a result of our magnetic field, and in part B, determine the direction of that magnetic force. So let's begin with part A. So because our wire is bent, we are essentially examining two different sections of the wire. So we have the horizontal section of the wire as well as the vertical section of our wire. So let's begin with the horizontal section. Now, because the magnetic field is uniform and because the angle is constant with respect to our magnetic field, the angle remains the same throughout our length, we can use the following equation to calculate the magnitude of force that acts on our horizontal wire. So the magnitude of force is equal to the cross product of our magnetic field vector and our length vector multiplied by our electric current I. Now by definition of the cross product, we know the cross product of any two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitude of those two vectors multiplied by the sine of the angle between those two vectors. So the force is equal to the product of our magnetic field B, our electric current I, our length L of the wire exposed to our magnetic field multiplied by the sine of the angle between our magnetic field and the length of our wire. Now, the magnitude of our magnetic field is 2 Teslas, the electric current is 10 amps, and our length of the wire exposed to our field, this section, is half of this value, so 0.5 meters. And the angle between our magnetic field and this length is given to be 0 degrees, so they lie on the same exact axis. Now, because sine of the angle 0 is 0, that is implies that the force is also zero newton so that means this section of the wire does not actually feel any force because it lies along the same direction as our magnetic field vector now let's move on to our vertical wire so once again, we want to apply the same exact equation, but now instead of using an angle of zero, we use an angle of 90 degrees. So we have two Teslas multiplied by 10 amps, multiplied by 0.5 meters, multiplied by sine of the angle 90, gives us 10 newtons. So the only section of the wire that actually feels a magnitude of force is this section here, and the magnitude to the force is given by 10 newtons. Now let's move on to step B. In part B we want to determine the direction of that force. So this section has no direction because it has no force. So let's only examine our vertical section of the wire. So we apply the right hand rule number two that we spoke about in the previous lecture. So to calculate or to find our direction, we follow the following three steps. So, 
Step one, we take our right hand and we point the fingers in the direction of our electric current. So we take the right hand and we point the fingers in the direction of our current. So we point it in the upper direction along the y-axis. Next, we curl our fingers, we bend our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. The magnetic field points this way, so we take our hand and we bend the fingers in this direction. Finally, we extend the thumb and the thumb will point in the direction of our magnetic force. So our electric current point this way, magnetic field points this way, we extend the thumb and the thumb points inward inside the board at a 90 degree angle with respect to our magnetic field lines and our electric current. So if we examine the following diagram, this is the direction of our current, this is the direction of our magnetic field, and this is the direction of our force. So the force acts with a magnitude of 10 newtons and points inward into our board.